Coach, just how good was it to set the tone both on the mound and offensively tonight? You know, Trey did a really good job on the mound. He's pitched his tail off every time been out there. Uh, Friday night starters, I mean, he was in some jams, but pitched out of it. They're an older lineup. But I thought offensively was our best performance. Uh, take away the 17 runs, but just putting pressure on them early. We're able to get the starter out in uh, the third inning for 53 pitches. But that's the first time I felt like we've been able to execute bunts and steals and stuff like that and not just rely on a big swing. So I was really proud of our guys. When Trey's getting up there and, you know, pitch down the six and he runs into a bit of a jam, are you kind of keeping an eye on him, enjoying watching him work out of that, even maybe when he's tiring and does he have that ability to, to get out of some jams like that? Well, we wanted to get him close to 100 because I think he threw 89 pitches last week, so uh, he'll probably threw a few more than we wanted him to because strikeout, ball kicks away from J-Dub, uh, tough pitch, and the guy gets the first base, but base is loaded and he gets out of it, so it's good to see. What does it mean to see the Leclerc family tonight and then throwing out the pitch? Um, I mean, anytime I see Lynn, Audrey, and JD um, and that crew, it gets me chill bumps because, you know, this place wouldn't have been built if it wasn't for Coach Leclerc and what he's meant to not just ECU baseball, but our community and uh, um, very special to me, of course. Jacob, just Starlin having a, another great night, just seems locked in at the plate. Just what do you see tonight from him? He's just not trying to do too much, and then if he gets a pitch, he can. You know, hammer he can, uh, but just been really proud of his maturity and, and not trying to do too much. And um, he's been very, very consistent with his approach this year. So, like I've said a lot, uh, Colby Bortles has done a tremendous job with him. Yeah, I think I counted like 26 swing and miss strikes for Trey tonight. He, he talked about Justin behind the plate just having that confidence to throw a pitch like that. I mean, what do you have to say about just having that battery work, work like that? Yeah, I mean, J Dub's worked really hard for four years to be put in that situation and. He's blocking a lot of balls, especially when Trey's pitching because of the break the ball in the cutter. You talked about, you know, Wednesday having a good practice. So, so what was that practice like? What was that it, was, uh, it was intense. You know, we need to get back to East Carolina baseball a little bit. I didn't think we showed up and played um, with the intent that we needed to. Um, as a coach, you try to prepare them. They play in front of 6,000 back-to-back days and then go to a midweek game at 4 o'clock and there's not many people in the stands. And, you know, we've had a lot of success against Duke over the past and, I think they thought we were just going to win, and it didn't. We got our tails kicked. How important is it to respond to a day like this thing? <laughs> well, it's a lot better than getting beat 9 nothing. I can tell you that. That wasn't a fun bus ride home. Long Beach State had 18 in the first game. You're facing them tomorrow. Do you know much about that? Um, they're saving their Friday night starter for us, so uh, we'll look nice. forward to facing him. Um, but. That's look. We're we're not going to make any excuses. We got Spivey going, and they got their guy going. So it'll be a good matchup. Hopefully, Pirate Nation will pack this place.